it's too late. It's too late. This and Matt Minimum, minimum will, will be, will be a, yeah, an addition yeah. because Matt Minimum... He's Barry Cahill, by the way. Well, and Matt Minimum is, is, is an attacker for a start, which Cal is. And number two, mm. he'll run at the defence. And, and it, if he doesn't get well, a score, he could draw well, a I can tell you one sure thing, Pat. Anybody who solar runs into that defence yeah. is going to be stripped clean and the ball taken off him. It's the reason that Pat Gilroy didn't pick him in the first ground. place. Well, I know that, but solar runners, this is no place yeah. for solar runners. Look how little room there is to even kick a ball, never mind solar run. But it's, even apart from that, it's a complete new strategy Dublin need to adopt yeah. now. The whole game is going in Donegal's yeah. favour. You know, they can sit back and look for the best. Strategy. Well, I, I think they will change. You know, they'll push more men They need forward. to push forward. OK, well, hopefully it's going to be a fascinating <laughs> second half. All set to go for that then. Let me hand you back to Jer Canning and Kevin McStay. Michael Hegarty, Michael, I think, has just come on for Danny Gold, start of the second half, and I think he may well be replacing Christy Toy, number 24. So there is a change, certainly. Michael Hegarty, who is certainly capable of imposing himself on this game, needs to do so. So all set to start the second half. which has been viewed all over the world. Back down in Australia, they're watching it late at night, including the non-professional international rules winners from Ireland. Congratulations to them. Second half underway, 4-2. Donegal in front, and Michael Hagerty gets his very first possession. Over the head that time of McGrath. Whatever breeze there is, is very, very light, so it's not a factor. This is a good run forward by Michael Murphy. Knifing his way through the heart of the Dublin defence. Meaning business. Dishing it off as far as Matt Fadden. He's got a goal chance. He's got to be content with a point. Oh. That was a great opportunity. Oh, if he puts that a wager as he should have. What a battle Dublin would have then. But it's gone over the bar just with the sheer power of the shot. Didn't place it. Bang, over the bar. What a move by Michael Murphy to set it up. Dublin counter. Big one in there towards Bernard Brogan. And it's going to be interesting, as the uh, panel was saying, how Kevin McMenamin will do now. He started on the 40. He's one player, as was mentioned, who can certainly run at the Donegal defence, if he gets the ball, that is. McHugh. All Donegal in the opening two minutes of this second half. Ryan Bradley. David Walsh. Coming onto it here is Paddy McGraw, one of the 21s last year. Back from Eamon McGee to McGraw again, almost walking their way forward here. But they've got a pattern and a method, and McFadden clips it high, and he has put it wide. Two shots of the target, start of the second half, he might have a goal and a point at this stage. Mr. Suttle for that point, first attack for the second half. Pleasing for Jim McGinnis, I'm sure. Well, now it's up to the Dubs to get themselves into this match. Joe Brennan. Dennis Bastic kicking long beyond Kevin McManaman. But no opportunity whatsoever of taking that one in. And once again to Carol Lacey, linking up with Paul Durkin. Rory Cavada now. Options left and right. And a chance to carry it on against two or three Dublin players. Wrong decision taken that time by Kavanagh. Going to go trying to win it back. Dublin have it. It's Alan Brogan. And to really scrap out around the middle of the park. Nicely on here for Paul Flynn. Quick look up at the target, trying to get Dublin's first point from play in this match. It's put it wide. Hard to believe that. Dublin's ninth wide in all. But you can certainly see, Ger, that they are pushing on, even since half-time. They have more uh, attackers in their own half, and they're bringing the game ever so slightly to uh, Donegal. But how close and how big a save will that uh, goal chance that flew over the bar be at the end of this game? It could be a crucial, a crucial moment. It was a huge opportunity. Taken down by Bastic, supported here by Brian Cullen. Now, Philly McMahon, who was the first substitute to come into this game as a replacement for the injured Rory O'Carroll. Again, no direction, giving McMenamin no opportunity whatsoever to contain it. Bad enough trying to 
get yourself into the game by trying to go through the Donegal defence, but when you have the possession, just giving it away as carelessly as that, certainly won't please Pat Gilroy and the management team. Gary Lacey. Well strapped up, Lacey. McHugh. That's Michael Hagerty, supported by Michael Murphy. Hagerty again. Lacey. Donegal were confident and assured at the start of this second period. Murphy fouled. Ryan Bradley now. Cabin again. Dublin chasing after him. On as far as McFadden is an assurance and a swagger about Danny Gold's play. Outsiders in the minds of so many people. And that time McFadden holds on away too long. He had options. Again, poor decision making. Could release that ball to a colleague. And for uh, not retreating quickly enough, Colin McFadden's team penalised 13 metres. McMahon now. Paul Flynn. Given some great displays for Dublin in League and Championship this year. McMahon again slips, tries to take it. The number 25 coming in to take possession. Alan Brogan. Johnny Gall, quite anxious. And in their anxiety on occasions, they step in and foul their man. And again, they're thinking about bringing up Cluxton to take this. There he is. 54th championship match for Stephen Cluxton. Mighty glad to see uh, Colin McFadden boot that ball over the bar and not into his net because he's kept 33 clean sheets in the previous 53 matches. Yeah, uh, there's the point I was telling you about uh, the Donegal men trying to get very close to the free taker. Darren McCauley, I think Darren McCauley wants to get them back and he's still very close. He's hardly six, seven metres away. He should be much further back. But it should be 30 metres back as that's near the end. And it's nicely over by Cluxton. First pointed, fourth free by Stephen Cluxton. Well, that's the way to answer it. We just don't like to see that sort of cynical play coming into it. And Cluxton puts it right between the poles. And it's 5 3. Donny Gall are considering another change. Marty Boyle looks like he's about to make his way in. And Carol Lacey, who is clearly stricken by injury, is the one whom he's replacing. Well, that is a blow now. Carol Lacey has been one of the stars of this Donny Gall team this year. Twice an all star in the last five years. So Marty Boyle comes on in the Division 2 League final here against Leash back at the very end of April. It's been a bumper year for Danny Gall, would you think about it? Starting out in Division 2, nobody really expecting very much from them. Two matches played in the Championship last season, two matches lost. Now here they are in the All-Ireland semi-final and ahead by five points to three. Seven minutes into the second half. Michael Murphy to hit this free. From just outside the 65 meter line, but again, prepared to hold possession, not take a chance. McHugh, or rather, Hagerty. That time the shoulder came in from McMahon, it looked a fair shoulder. Referee is indicating the shoulder was into his back, I would like to see it again. Well, here see. we go, just watch the contact. Yes, in fairness to the referee, partially into his back. Well, square enough too, I suppose, on that angle. That's the pressure the referees are under. Instant call. This time, Donny Gall get it. Free kick for Donny Gall has got to be taken anyway by Colin McFadden. Or Colin Antonet, as they call him up there. And St. Michael's. He's about uh, 35 metres out from the target. He's connected well. Has it got the direction to get inside the left hand post? It has. Four points for Colin McFadden, leading scorer for Danny Gall. Two of them coming from Freeze. And it's six points to three in favour of the Ulster champions.
And that was a terrific kick. That was a really terrific kick. All of Dublin's scores so far have been from freeze. And we're deep into the second half. Paul Flynn. Held on to here by Dermot Connolly. They need something from Connolly, but look at the number of Donegal players around him as the ball anyway is lost. McGrath. Back once again towards Thompson. Returned by Dublin and Joe Brennan. The crowd now in an attendance of 81,436, urging Dublin on. Kevin McMenamin kicking it diagonally across to Vernon Brogan. Two players over to mind the house and keep him at bay. Brogan against Neil McGee. Been given very little. Kicking it across. Oh, it's Eamon McGee dropping it down. Goalkeeper required because Kevin McMenamin was lurking in there dangerously. And Donegal can breathe a sigh of relief as it's hit out by Anthony Thompson. Michael Hagerty now. Very much the conductor of the orchestra from Donegal's point of view. As far as Michael Murphy. Held again by Hagerty. Most things will go through him during the second half, I'd imagine. Rory Cavanaugh has given the ball away to McMahon. Boots it up into the air to nobody in particular. Hard to win it. Loads of Donegal players in situ. And won by David Walsh. Hagerty again. Fed across towards Anthony Thompson. The man from Glenties. Down goes Murphy. Back up again. And the referee says, you hold on too long. Three to Dublin. There's an edginess now all around Croke Park. You can sense it among the Dublin fans. Still only three points behind. Not being able to get the measure of the Donegal challenge. Huge task for Pat Gilroy and his team. And that's a, another part of the game we've seen this season more than any. Players that uh, have a foul called against them, holding on to the ball. And then the other team feeling it's uh, open season to go in and do whatever it requires to get the ball off him. Seems to have taken a bit of a bang while that happened. There's a, there's a reboot in here. Not too sure. Interesting uh, move on the part of Jim McGuinness to make Michael Murphy his captain. Yeah, such a young man and... Uh, the experience he had last year in the under-21, you remember the crossbar and the penalty in the very last minute, would have hurt his confidence, and Jim then builds it up immediately, makes him the county captain. Because some young players can react, respond yes. negatively. Yes, that's... Donegal from... Dun uh, Dublin from the free kick. Kevin Nolan now. Booted down into space, McMenamin after it. Can he get a touch and he does well? But then, surrounded by Donegal players, surrenders the possession... Donegal just about hold on with Walsh, fouled. An anxious Michael Dara McCauley trying to get it off him. I would say a frustrated Michael Dara McCauley. He is, uh, seems to me to be getting very frustrated and not concentrating on what he should be. Getting his hands on the ball and moving it quickly. Back once again to Bradley. And it's double now, expected to come out of the second.